Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Adventure Mode. We're back with my boy Bravo, we're doing better than ever. Uh, I had a couple hiccups along the way because um, previously I was running version 1.1 because Combat Extended is like the main thing of this mod because it adds an inventory system. It wasn't updated yet, but it just updated to 1.2, so my 1.1 version got like all fucked up. But I think I fixed it. I have my inventory again, which I didn't have before. But anyways, let's go check out our stats real quick. We're looking really good, but we could use a little bit of recreation, so let's go assign him some fun time right now. And we can go get that built up before we leave. I'm guessing we're gonna need to make a trip to the city. My whole plan is to try and sell all this stuff for some more silver. And when we're done with that, I think we're gonna go try and raid some tribals, because we do have a pretty damn good gun. We can't run and gun with it, but we have enough ammo to last us quite a while, I think. Let's see here. We did ditch some, but we have around 200 shells, plus 100 inside the gun, so we're not looking too bad. I would like to replace this RPD soon, though. It's gonna be a great gun, but it's way too heavy for what we're trying to do. We need to try and remain as light as possible, so we can carry as much crap with us as we can. Anyways, let's go have Bravo play a little bit of poker, and we will be on our way. Or billards, I guess. Okay, so we just got done. This polar bear is kind of scaring me. He just, like, he basically screamed at me. We're going to go check out a few more places, though. But I think we're going to be ready to head out. Hopefully, we're going to be able to carry some of the stuff that we marked as... Ooh, that's a dead body. 76239. What are we rocking here? Hey, we can use that. Ah, uh, it's kind of weird picking up, you know, shells off near a dead body, but I'm sure he doesn't mind. He actually didn't care about seeing a corpse, which is pretty new. Usually, like, you get a little uh, debuff from that. Anyways, let's go form up the caravan. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to take with this, because a lot of the, like, rations and stuff we have with us take up quite a bit of space. So we're going to need to figure out the bulk problem pretty soon. But I'm thinking we're going to head out of here. I don't know where's the nearest, I guess, friendly city, but I'd like to get my, uh, exploring legs on, you know, and just go out and see if we can find anything cool. So, Dark Blue hates us. Red obviously hates us. It seems like purple is the way to go. Pur purple likes us. We are able to trade with, like, I'd say these purple homes here. But it's not going to be the same as a city, you know. It's actually, there's, there's no uh, real friendly cities anywhere here. Maybe we just follow, hmm, we can either head up north. Okay, there's a purple city over there. Maybe we head over towards Haro. That's going to be quite a harrowing journey. Okay, I'll see you myself out. That was a really bad joke. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we have enough silver on us so we can, like, say, g visit all these nearby friendly settlements and trade with them. So we're looking a little bit more better off than we usually be. But we're going to hurry up, form up the caravan, see what we can take with us right now. Let's form up right here. There we go. Accept. Okay. Um, how m okay, we got 25 kilograms to work with. This ain't bad. We really do need to level up our strength soon enough. I think we're going to be taking the Neutromine, and that's 6 bucks a pop, and it's only 20 grams per. So, yeah, that'd be crazy if we didn't. We're going to take all the drugs. All of the drugs. Oh, yeah. Taking some of the components, and it seems like those components actually set us up. Okay. I think we're ready to head out. Let's get this bread, boys. Let's get this bread. Let's send them out on their way, and we'll get going. This is 1.2, so I think there's new quests and stuff as well. I can actually uh, say that we've, you know, migrated over. Oh, I should probably unenlist Bravo. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. I'd, I would have just sat there for God knows how long, just waiting for him to take all the stuff he can. Alrighty, let's go out on a little journey. Afterwards, we're going to be raiding some tribals. Maybe we can, let's see here, actually, before we head out. Yeah, maybe we raid the tribals, head back to the city, and then head up north for good. Because there's not a lot of... There's a city in here, but it is just deep in the mountains, and that'll take a year and a half to traverse. So it's not really that worth it. I'm thinking the up north city is definitely the way to go. We're going to have to go through quite a bit of uh, land, but I think we'll be able to pull through. There's also the city over here, right next to uh, Bad Settlement. You know what? That ain't too far. 
but there's no roads as well. Ah, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, you know what? I'm thinking we're heading over towards this one because there's a city really close. There's another place to raid. There's actually a lot of places to raid. Yeah, I'm really liking that. Okay. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just form up the caravan and make it to the city again. Ooh, another 2.1 days. We might need to set up camp again and just wait out. Kind of like a Black Friday shopper would. <laughs> Alrighty, we are almost at the city of... Uh, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Tikoir? Uh, Tikoir? I don't know. But we're almost there. Hopefully, they, they're they definitely going to buy our components. The previous problem that we had beforehand is that most of our stuff was actually tainted goods. So no one actually wanted them. Okay, so we arrived here. Let's see what we can trade off. They have 5,000 silver, and they should buy some of the stuff that we have. Ooh, advanced component, 100 silver. If we can get some more of those, we'd be in a very good position. But we're going to make quite a bit of money off of all this stuff. Oh yeah, look at all that good stuff going. Uh, they don't want to buy the drugs, I wonder why. I'd like to think of uh, the actual city trading as like trading to like the mayor, you know, the proper authorities, the proper channels. And then when we're actually in the city, we can do some more of the shady, you know, black market dealings. <laughs> uh, they don't have anything, I guess we can buy some chocolate. We'll buy like a couple kilograms worth of that, yeah. I like me some chocolate. 27? We get 650 silver? Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's actually enter the city. Actually, how long? Too dangerous to re-enter for 23 hours. So I guess what we're gonna do, I mean, that's quite a distance. Maybe we, uh, I guess we can head out this way, follow this road up and then see what's going on. All right, that's fine. We can head out for a little bit. I really do like how they updated the caravanning screen it feels like just it feels like an rts game kind of you know like a very minimalistic mountain blade but i guess we'll head out a bit set up camp in some random spots and maybe we'll get lucky find some other goodies as well okay so here we are at the first campsite that we've made and it seems like we've kind Ooh, okay there is some stuff over here we'll have to go disassemble that we'll go queue it up right now there's also a bed we might stay here for the night it is getting kind of laid out so that might be the best plan Right now, what I'm really feeling is how about we go kill some things, all right? We gotta level up. What's our, what's our XP right now? Oh, cool, we can. Let's keep on getting that strength up. I'd like to get to like 65 like weight so we can carry a whole bunch of stuff. Our agility is so poopy though. Okay, so in seven days, a caravan will be automatically be reformed. I could care less. Let's actually close up some of these events. I don't really see a lot of events happening, but it'll be nice just to have them closed out. But we can have a little bit of target practice firing against some of these deer. Oh yeah, look at them run! Okay, I think that one got away. No, it didn't. Come on, take your time, buddy. Take your time. Oh, come on. That doe is not going anywhere. These are stupid animals. Oh yeah, we're just taking easy pot shots at it. Oh, that was a nice shot. We're really screwing it up. Maybe we aim for the head. Yeah, let's go for some headshots, baby. <laughs> this is how we level up. It's very messed up, but it's the only way. Oh, God damn, you are a sniper, Bravo. Whoo, that was some real fine juice. Look at that. Yeah, that, that deer is dead. Oh, yeah. We are targeting the head, so I think we have a higher chance of hitting it, but it's still a chance, so we probably won't be able to hit it as many times. But if we do get that juicy headshot... We're gonna feel it. <laughs> well, I guess they are. We're only gonna feel the recoil. Mess them up, buddy. This is how we have fun for, I guess, in between each little party. It's got, it's very messed up, actually, but it is give, getting our levels up. As you see, we are getting 600 XP every shot that we take. We need to be a little bit cautious because we only have 300 rounds of ammo. I did drop off some of the bulk. So we, we gotta take our, we, we gotta take our time is all I'm saying, which we are. Thank God we had this gun, though. It's very nice. We would have been rocking the, um, whatchamacallit, the revolver for a little bit longer. I guess we would have upgraded with the 44. Okay, let's reload that up. Uh, we could probably beat them to death, but I think we'll just let them bleed out. We got a couple levels from that, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we got two. Okay, we'll get one in strength, and we'll put one in dex. Sure. Okay, no, 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 buddy. How about instead of resting, you deconstruct some of the stuff because we have to wait a full day so you might as well sleep nicely instead of uh just dropping dead on the floor 
You know, we have to treat ourselves like humans as well. Hopefully this thing has a roof over it so we're not screwed when it comes to that. We also have this poor quality bed, but it's a bed nonetheless, you know. Uh, we're, we're not picky in here. Ooh, silver, hey, payday, baby. Oh, uranium. Hey, okay, okay, I, 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 can, I can work with that. Oh, I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay, we're gonna deconstruct that door. We are- oh, we can't? Okay, I guess we can only claim it. Oh, there we go. Reinstall in here. It's it's a very dirty place. But, um, it's gonna be better than just not having a place at all. It's gonna take us a little bit longer to do all of this, but I feel like it's gonna be worth it in the end, because we'll actually have a nice little, uh... And by nice, I mean a literal fucking crack shack? But it's gonna be our crack shack, you know? No, no, buddy, you gotta... Oh no, we dropped our stuff. Ah, eh, we can pick it up with the caravan later. It's not that big of a deal. Let's hurry up, get the stuff in. There we go. I mean, it's technically... Okay, hold up. Work on that wood door real quick. Okay, we, we gotta sleep in a little bit of uh, luxury. Hopefully this will count as indoors once we do it. Unroofed. Eh, whatever. It works. <laughs> we tried. Good night, Bravo. How are the deer doing? Mmm, collectively dead. I would harvest their bodies, but that's taking up too much time. Time that we don't have. We kill these bad boys for sport, alright? Target practice. Okay, while we're waiting for fun, we're actually just gonna uh, build a quick little horseshoe pen, and we can assign our schedule. Let's see, it's nine, so we'll just go... Yeah, we'll have fun for like an hour. Actually, no, 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 we got the city for that, so... I think we're just gonna head out. Let's make a zone real quick to make sure that we're grabbing everything we can. And let's go sell off our drugs now, shall we? I think we've wasted enough time, right? Another four hours. Okay. Then, uh, you go have some fun. I guess he wants some chocolate. Yeah, sure. We got it for a reason, right? Might as well enjoy yourself, too. I really hope this, uh, uranium sells for a mint. It is actually weighs a lot. Hopefully that just means that it's in a stack, or else uh, we're not going to be able to carry any uranium with us. <laughs> I guess we can... You know, let's go kill some stuff. Instead of, like, doing normal, like, colonist, you know, stuff, we'll just go start shooting all the raccoons. <laughs> I need the XP! You have to understand! This is very important to my character growth. In order to become OP, I must kill. There we go. Okay. Let's see if there's any bigger targets, though. So. We, can... we gotta go for the bigger boys, alright? These squirrels... While they were very easy to kill, and while they posed no real threat, I could take them out at a moment's notice. Uh, yeah, they're kinda too weak for us, so, uh, what's down here? Is that, like, another squirrel or something? Oh, that's a rat. What's down over here? There's another thing. Mmm, squirrels, rats. I guess we can take out some of the squirrels and rats. We, we got a lot of time to kill. And by kill, I mean literally kill. <laughs> we are killing everything we see, like a psychopath. It's the only way we can grow. It's how you do it in uh, any Elder Scrolls games or any RPG, as a fact. Unless you go for something like, uh... I know Underrail had a pretty cool, uh, level-up system to where instead of, like, you just get XP by killing stuff, you could actually get XP by, like, exploring areas and finding, like, junk. So it kind of rewarded not killing everything in sight like some crazy murder hobo, but that is not our predicament right now. Let's go find some more things to kill. Looking at you, Mr. Direwolf. Get over here. Okay, now this Timberwolf might actually fight back. So, we, we gotta get ready to switch to Snapshot at a moment's notice, is all I'm saying. I'm sorry, Timberwolf, but, uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna melee attack you to death. We gotta get some, you know, hand-to-hand, -hand, mono -y mono combat in as well. Damn. Two-punch combo. Let's see here. What ended it? Um, I guess it was the... Gunshot wound. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. The the spine shot probably is what really did it. Okay. Well, I think we killed enough time. Let's get going. Let's form up that caravan. I think we're d actually let's level up real quick before we do. Oh yeah, look at that. Seven hundred XP. We're level twenty already. We'll put. Yeah, we'll put two more in strength. I I really want to just level up my strength because having that extra carry weight is gonna be nice. Hey, as we were, uh, I guess going to the city, there is this muffalo migration here. Now, I could really care less about it, but maybe... Nah, nah, we're, we're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna get our money, we're gonna head down south, we're gonna go terrorize some tribals, and we're gonna call it a day. <laughs> that's, that's such a horrible sentence to say, terrorize the tribals. I guess aborigines, maybe. That'd be... That's actually... That's just as bad. <laughs> what am I even talking about? 
Okay. First of all, we'll see if any of the surface, I guess, traders want to trade anything. Hey, they'll take my uranium. I'll just sell that right off the bat. That It's really heavy stuff, so... Man, it would be really cool to get a <laughs> psychic, like, shock lance, but that's never gonna happen. You know what? I'll take a couple brewskis for the boys, though. Yeah, hell yeah. I'll take, like, five brewskis. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. We'll also take uh, the rest of your chocolate. Okay. I think we're ready to rock. Let's head in here and see what the actual indoor traders have to offer. Ah, home sweet home. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Maybe we can even get a new gun. Who knows? Let's start off with sugar. Okay, so it seems like they, they are a slaver. Sadly, we can't buy any slaves. <laughs> oh man, so messed up. But they are willing to actually uh, buy my drugs. Now, they only have like 700 silver to work with. But it seems like we're going to be able to sell off most of our junk right now. They are selling 5.7 millimeter, but we don't have a 5.7 or a P90, so that's kind of useless to us right now. I'm still vibing with this uh, 5 medicine that we have. They do have two. Maybe we'll buy an extra couple. Might as well. They'll buy one extra. Hey, we have a plus 10%, whatever that means. I'm guessing that's from our actual uh, trader goods. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at all that silver, baby. Actually, our inventory is full. Our bulk is, like, maxed right now. So, we, we are sitting on a crap ton of silver. Like, it's actually insane. We gotta try and sell off the rest of this junk, though. We might need to convert all the silver into gold. So, we are probably gonna lose some money. But it's gonna be better for traveling with. We, we literally have, like, an entire bag full of just goodies. <laughs> this is awesome. We are gonna stay here a little bit. Probably for the night, because it is kind of getting a little late out. We should still have our, uh, our nice little, I guess, cot somewhere. Or does it generate differently every time? We'll, we'll claim a bed when we need to. We probably just forgot where things were. But right now, we just gotta sell off all the junk. We gotta make sure to remember where our silver is, though. Maybe we just need to buy something very expensive as well. Yeah, they're not really selling much. I will sell my jumpsuit, though. Yeah, you can have that for 188. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Also, pemmican, always good to have. Okay. We gotta remember where all this stuff is. <laughs> So we're actually gonna put it now. Well, we'll be able to remember. We'll just like put it in like say uh, stockpiles on before we leave. Boink boink, and then we go boink boink boink. Okay. I guess we'll just keep on looking for traders and trying to see if there's anything good. Okay, so this guy here is actually selling around 60 gold, which is gonna be almost uh, 900 silver, which we do have. So that's not it's not a bad deal. Psychite tea. Fragrant tree infused with psychoid plant. Um, no, we don't need to be addicted to anything right about now. We're trying to keep Bravo off of that stuff so we don't regret it later down in the life. Hmm. I wish we could buy, like, implants. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, that'll be fine for now. Let's pick up our gold. Actually, our inventory is still full. We'll remember where it's at, though. Alrighty, so we found uh, Huber over here, and they are selling quite a bit of stuff right now. And the beautiful thing is if we go up down over here a little bit more, we see the subsonic rifle, which uses the same ammo that we actually have right now. 9x39, or at least I think so. Let's actually, let's make sure real quick before we do this. 7.62x39, oh, is that 9x39? Because if it's... If that's so, then we won't be able to actually use it, which is pretty sad, to be honest. Uh, they do have an M16A1 that we would be able to use, but I think it has the same amount of bulk as our RPD, if I'm not mistaken. Let's actually see how much bulk our RPD has. Um, bulk, bulk. It's a little bit less. I guess, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I do like me an M16. But I'm really sad that we won't be able to use a subsonic rifle. Yeah, it's 9x39, which I have not seen <laughs> at all, so... They do have quite a bit of ammo here, though. But they do have 556 by 45 And so does the M16A1. So, we're gonna buy it. I think we're gonna buy it. I would like to go for the 762, the M14. I feel like that'd be a little bit, I guess, better for me. But for now, I think we're gonna be going for the M16. At least we can use some of, some of our silver up because we have so much of the stuff. To be honest, maybe we look for the most expensive stuff for, like, the least amount of, uh... I guess, wait. Do they got gold? Oh, hell yeah, they do. Okay, okay, okay. We might be able to just sell off all of our stuff here. 
first things first, let's sell off all of our ammo that we won't need anymore. And um, I think we're actually going to need to pick up our RPD in order to sell it. But right now, let's get some gold as well. The more... Actually, let's get some... We'll get 200. 230. That should be pretty good for an M16, right? Yes. Okay, for the rest of it, we're going to buy gold. Gold is going to be the best thing ever. Because as you can see, it turns like a lot of silver into a small amount of gold. We are losing money. But we might also gain some, because technically, people do buy it at higher prices, and people also sell at lower prices, so we might get lucky. But here we go, here's our new weapon. Let's drop the RPD. We'll go pick it up, actually. Oh, we can't. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Man, we really do need, like, some extra space right about now. Okay. Well, um, I was experimenting with my inventory, wondering why, like, stuff was so heavy. For some unexplicable reason, this chocolate has so much bulk to it, so we're gonna eat it all right now. We're just gonna eat it. We are not getting any more chocolate, though. But holy crap, I was not expecting the chocolate to, like, have that much bulk just, like, wasted. Okay, let's keep on trading with Hubert. I really do like this M16A4, though. Let's trade off all of our 45 Colt ammo as well, because that's gonna be kind of useless. We'll actually buy another, let's see here, 556, 45. Let's buy another 100 rounds. I'd like 300. Colony can't afford this deal. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just give him a piece of gold back. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, no, no, no. Not my cloth. Not my cloth. Um, does he seriously not want it? Uh, we can give him one medicine, sure. Okay, there we go. Let's go pick up all of our stuff, though. Let's actually sell the RPD as well. I guess we could have done that before, but I wonder why the hell that, uh, that was worth so much. <laughs> it, it honestly eludes me. Okay, RPD, 50 bucks. Hey, I'll take it. All right, let's go grab our new weapon now. Hopefully, we can reload with this, right? Oh, hell yeah, we can. Okay, we got ourselves a new weapon. And if you see right here, we can run and gun with the M16A1, which is pretty damn good. Okay, we're working with... You know, we'll buy a little bit more if we can't afford it. We'll see how much, I guess, gold we're going to save. We are going to come back to Hubert a little bit later. Because he does have all the good stuff, you know. Okay, we'll pick up the steel knife normally. Let's go rest. Okay, let's go find yourself a bed first of all, Bravo. Here you go. You deserve it. Let's just set the owner to you. And yeah, let's go pick up our stuff. Try and sell off some more of our silver that we have laying around. And hopefully we can maintain a low bulk count. Let's go to sleep. You've, you've earned it, buddy. Okay, while we were sleeping, it says and a beautiful aurora is lighting up the sky. The undulating colors will boost the mood of anyone outside to see them and make the night brighter. So what we're going to do, go, go watch the aurora for like an hour. That should be doing it, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it's bringing up our mood. Okay, we, we can sit out here for a little bit. And then go back to sleep, I'd say as soon as it hits 24, that'll give us 5 extra hours. We'll also eat some of the chocolate. And maybe we'll even have a brewski with the boys. <laughs> Actually, we're going to save the beer for uh, desperate times. Because we don't want to have another break. Okay, now you can go to sleep, buddy. Okay, it is 5 in the morning. We're looking better than ever right about now. Let's go pick up all of our beer. Let's go eat some more chocolate. We're going to go be eating through all this chocolate. I seriously don't know why it takes up so much bulk. I'm glad I like messed with my inventory before I, like, I guess left with it. Because I would have kept the chocolate with me. And I would have been just out of so much extra good stuff. I guess the chocolate is pretty good for rationing. But, um, no, 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 no. I would much rather have my packet survival meals than the chocolate. Okay, let's hurry up, head over, go pick up our stuff, and I think we're going to be ready to head out. Maybe we'll uh, pay another visit back to Huber real quick before we leave. Just so we can get some extra gold out of all of our silver. But other than that, let's go grab our stuff. Hopefully I remember where it even is. Okay, so, um, I guess all this gold is what we're gonna have for a while. I've literally scoured the entire city to try and find our gold pile, bef like, I guess our silver pile. And I think it actually took from reserves from when we trade with Hubert. So, yeah, all we have with us is 113 gold, 66 silver, and a dream. I think we're ready to head out, though. Our bulk is looking mighty high right about now. I wonder what it's from. Pemmican? Uh, from the pemmican, it seems like. Yeah, so it seems like I guess we need to eat the pemmican like right away. 
because I guess like the more bulk we have. Okay, the gold is really good. So is the silver. Um, yeah, I think we just have to take care of the pemmican first. Maybe the beer. Yeah, it's more of like, I guess the stuff that we'd actually like take with us in like bulk. So we'll, we'll be eating through the pemmican first. I think we're ready to head out. Let me go delete all of these stockpile zones before we head out though, because it's pretty bad. Okay, I think we're ready to say goodbye to this place. Maybe we'll have one more brewski in honor of the city and all the stuff it's done to us. We're trying to... I thought I deleted all of you. <laughs> but we'll actually... I guess we can play a little bit of chess. How's our recreation looking? We'll have one more game before we decide to head out. And maybe we'll eat some of the pemmican on the way. Or the chocolate that we have just laying around. We just gotta enjoy this place because we are gonna leave pretty soon in um, search of creating even more war crimes. So it seems like we're completely done with that. I think we're going to actually save the beer. Um, we're going to go pick it up. And I think we're going to eat all the chocolate. Because we are a little bit hungry right about now. And I think we're going to... I think we're done here. See you later, uh, whatever city this is. I always forget the name. So it's really hard to like remember this kind of stuff. But yeah, I think we're done here. I'm really happy with the upgrade that we had. The RPD didn't allow us to run and gun. But this M16A1 does. So it's going to be pretty nice. We'll actually change it to uh, burst. No, single mode. I don't want to waste too much ammo. Let's go eat the chocolate up here. And um, I think I'm going to end the episode here, actually, in city. Yeah, I think I am. Where is that chocolate at? I know it's somewhere around here. Or did they, did they, do they haul stuff on their own? Because I swear to God, if they took my silver, I'm going to massacre them. But um, in reality, I probably won't because I would get my uh, I would get my shit kicked in. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we're actually out of chocolate. I bet one of the bastards did haul it away. And if that's the case, you know, you win some, you lose some. I am, I guess, bumming their uh, bet off of them. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. Because next episode, we're going to leave this area completely behind. Tico Ear, that's the name. I, I would not be able to remember that for the life of me. But next episode, we're going to head over to Sega Sound, and we're going to go fuck some people up, because we haven't had a lot of action apart from the first episode. So yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a damn good day. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.